What up, YouTube? Apple Jets. How you guys doing? Got a little stack of uh, mail to get to, and uh, <clears throat> still recovering from that Jets game Monday night. Uh, the Jets Patriots game. Um, I've been feeling the effects of that for a couple days now. Um, the day of the game, I was so psyched out. I was so nervous all day. Um, you know, Jets Patriots both nine and two. Winner has the decisive advantage in getting winning the division and um, getting home field advantage in the playoffs. Um, so I was nervous all day. Plus, I hate the Patriots. It's just a Jet thing, hating the Patriots. And I can't stand them, actually. And um, even in the Super Bowl a couple years ago when the Patriots played the Giants, I actually rooted for the Giants, which was really hard to do because I hate the Giants a lot. And um, But my hatred for the Patriots is just a little bit more. And uh, anyway... Um, as you know, they got absolutely, absolutely destroyed, and it was really embarrassing. Luckily, thank God I saved a little bit of face with the fact that they won the first game um, earlier in the season, but there's no excuse for getting blown out that bad. And again, that that's important. That's that important. And um, it's still, uh, I felt like crap for a few days. But uh, starting to get over it a little bit now. You got the Dolphins next week, so... Um, most of the stuff I'm hearing out of the Jets, Jets side of things is they're pretty much prepared to destroy the Dolphins next or this coming Sunday, which uh, would be nice. Um, they're you're very they're very embarrassed about the performance, and they should be. But uh, enough of that. On to my mail. Got some uh, stuff in uh, for the PC. Nice little stack. And um, you know Christmas right around the corner. We all got boxes stuff coming in. So. Uh, it should be a fun time here on YouTube. Should be seeing lots of people get some, get lots of boxes, lots of cards, and uh, it'll be fun for everybody. Yeah. But uh, on to the mail. Um, found a guy that actually had some Chris Leaks, so I traded, um, traded for a bunch of his stuff. I actually, just hit a little milestone here. Let me show you real quick. I keep a tally of uh, like percentages of cards that I have, like when I collect a guy, and um, I just hit the 30% mark on my Chris League PC. Um, he has uh, 383 total cards produced. That's not counting one on ones in printing plates. I don't count those because if you counted those then that would drive the percentage up and I never it would it would kind of skew the numbers a little bit. So I, this is every card numbered any anything higher every card that he's appeared on numbered anything higher than a one on one. So if, even if it's numbered out of two or three, um, that counts. But this is just his cards excluding that one of ones. He has three, 383 total, and I currently have 116 of the 383, which gives me exactly 30% of all of his cards produced, which is a pretty nice milestone. And um, so so these were uh, the cards that put me at 30%, and um, as you know, I'm always looking for more. So um, This is from 2007 SP Triography First Signs Chris Lake Auto out of 99. Um, 2007 Upper Deck Premier, uh, Premier Penmanship Auto, numbered out of 99 as well. And um, 2007 um, SP Triography NFL Imagery Emerald Auto, numbered out of 50. So three nice additions there. And the rest is a really spent stuff with the really sick one I mentioned a couple, uh, vi like last video I think. Um, it's... Um, I just got that in a few days ago, but uh, here's the other ones first. Um, 2010, this is a pretty cool card. 2010 uh, Panini Threads Rookie Collection Quad Jersey of uh, Demarius Thomas, Des Bryant, Dexter McCluster, and then a really has been there on the bottom. Um, really like that card, number out of 2.99. This has actually turned out to be a pretty good uh, rookie class. Lots of guys. There's no real uh, dominant rookie. I guess it would be Sam Bradford. I don't know. But uh, and maybe a dominant too, but like for the most part, lots of contributing rookies this year. Like uh, not a lot of guys, not a lot of big name rookies are sitting on the bench right now. They're all contributing to the team, which is nice to see. So you know it makes it better when you when you open boxes from this year. There's more more of a chance you'll get something of somebody that's actually playing, which is makes the box breaking more fun. Um, this from 2010 Threads Rookie Collection Two Color Patch. That is out of 50. Um, my first card from the set, which is uh, I really like the set, uh, 2010 
Crown Royal. Uh, really expand. This is his rookie auto. Nice little die cut there. Number out of 399. And last but not least, really, really sick card. 2010 certified freshman fabric mirror blue um, jersey ball shoe auto. And look at that shoe piece. It's really sick. Nice two color with the, the stitching and everything. Really cool. Um, really like this card. Um, Leaf certifies or certifies always been one of my favorite products every year. I've actually gotten a box of it every single year since since it's been made since 2000. I believe it was 2000 2001 when they for their first time they ever made, and I've gotten a box every year, and I'll, I will continue doing that. So uh, that is numbered six out of 50 for the Aurelius Ben PC. So that's about it for the mail day. Thank you guys for watching. Um, have a good one. Have a good one, guys. Um, that's about it. Peace.